Strawberry cake with strawberry icing. The texture of this cake is reminiscent of Trace Leches cake, but instead of milk, it gets its moistness from the icing that's poured over it while it's still warm. For the strawberry portion of this cake, you'll need fresh strawberries, granulated sugar, and lemon juice. For the cake batter, you want more granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, softened butter, unflavored gelatin, eggs, vegetable oil, water, and if desired, red food coloring. For the frosting, you want confectioner sugar and softened butter. The first step is to prepare the strawberries. Cap them and slice them. And then combine the sliced berries with a bit of granulated sugar and lemon juice. Give the mixture a good stir to make sure the berries are coated with the sugar and then set the strawberries aside. Heat your oven to 350 degrees and lightly coat a 9 by 13 inch baking pan with butter. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, the remaining sugar, the baking powder, salt, and then cut in the butter. You mix it with a whisk or your hands. I ended up mixing with my hands because it was faster and I could get a feel for how the mixture was coming together that way. And then add the unflavored gelatin, the eggs, the vegetable oil, and the water. Whisk until well combined, and then if desired, add a bit of red food coloring. Stir in about half of your sliced and sugared strawberries. There's no need to measure here, just eyeball it. And then mix the batter into well combined. If you decide that it needs a little more food color, go ahead and stir it in now. Pour the batter into the buttered baking pan and smooth it into an even layer with a rubber spatula. Bake 35 to 40 minutes or until a tester such as a toothpick comes out clean. Let the cake cool for 10 to 15 minutes. While that's happening, make your icing. Combine the butter and half of the confectioner's sugar and mix with an electric mixer until well combined. and then add the remaining sliced strawberries and the remaining confectioner sugar. Beat on low speed until smooth. You'll notice this icing is on the thin side, that's okay. And if it looks a little broken, that's okay too. Pour the icing over the warm cake, making sure to cover it completely. Let the cake cool at room temperature until lukewarm and then cover and refrigerate eight hours to overnight before serving. You can serve this cake straight from the fridge if you like or let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes before slicing and serving. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and complete recipes, please visit us at arkansasonline.com slash cooking.